want to welcome everyone to the House of Health, and this is for our health science non-degree programs. So we're going to go over programs that we currently offer, programs that we have upcoming, some financial assistance, and also cover any questions that you may have. So my name is Samantha Bray. I'm one of the coordinators for non-degree health science programs. And two primary programs that we have, we have a nurse aid program as well as what you may refer to as allied health. So Tyler, if you can please put those emails in the chat, I will also email this PowerPoint out as well once we conclude our presentation. So that way you have all this information, not only in the chat, but also um, more accessible. So nurseaid.waketech.edu cehealth.waketech.edu are our websites. We are currently in the process of updating our CE Health for Allied Health portion uh, webpage because we've added so many programs and so we're wanting to reflect that and get a little bit more information out there. If you have questions and would like to contact Nurse Aid, the phone number is 919-747-0120. If you have other questions regarding or the Allied Health side, 919-747-0140, and you will get a hold of one of our staff members, so either myself or one of our assistants. You can also send an email, nurse aid, the E at the end is very important, at waketech.edu, and then WCE medical certifications at waketech.edu. If you email the one that doesn't work with that program, we simply just forward that email or voicemail to the appropriate person within our department for a response. So this is our lovely staff. Um, we have a wonderful variety of healthcare professionals as well as administration people. So we have a wide variety of knowledge and we're actually missing one of our full-time instructors in this picture, but I uh, just wanted to share our lovely faces so you can get a feel for who we are. So some classes that we offer, I'm not going to go through every single one of these on this slide right now because we're going to touch base on those here in a few minutes. Um, but I do want to point out the one class that we do not offer to the public is going to be our surgical technician program. It's a class that right now is only offered to hospital employees. So if you currently work at the hospital, you should contact your manager or someone at your hospital to see if you're able to take the class with their recommendation. We are hopefully working towards having one open to the public. There's just a lot of details and corresponding that goes along with that. So that's something to look for in the future as well. So for nurse aid, we offer nurse aid one, nurse aid one refresher and nurse aid two. And this emphasizes uh, person-centered care, the aging process, communication, safety emergencies, information, infection prevention, legal and ethical issues, measurements, so there is some math involved, uh, elimination, nutrition, basic restore, restorative care, and rehabilitation, dementia, mental health, which is a very hot topic these days and very important, and end-of-life care. So upon completing our class, that also includes a clinical component, you would be eligible to test for to be get on the listing on the North Carolina Nurse Aid One Registry. So some information regarding the Nurse Aid One. The tuition and fees is $250. There's not a textbook that's required before registering online. And I can also show you where to register for these upcoming classes. You'll need to read the syllabus. This class has a total of 168 hours. Remember that's lab, lecture, and clinicals. And then you'll also have to purchase a Castle Branch package. It's $116. Go ahead, do you have a question? Okay, so if you have a question, you can unmute and ask or type in the chat. Uh, so we the Castle Branch package that includes your background check, and that would automatically start when okay, you. Okay. I'm gonna then see because now I'm curious. Okay, everybody has a theory as to why they may have developed a lipoma or a cyst, and 
I do think that trauma might cause a cyst or a lipoma to occur. If you can mute your diet or your microphone if you're not speaking. Thank you. So the background check will automatically start running. The drug test, it will give you information about where to go and to take your paper for that. And then also your immunization tracker. There are required immunizations that you must have. All of that is listed on the syllabus. And that also includes the COVID-19 vaccine and booster if you are eligible. And those are per our clinical sites, not wait tech. Anything to add, Tyler? Uh, no, not so far. You're doing great. <laughs> okay, fabulous. I, I like to say Tyler is uh, the mastermind, and so I always check with her to make sure I'm on par. <laughs> All right, so the nurse aid refresher. This is $150, no textbook, 48 contact hours. And in order to take this, you have to have proof of one of the followings, and it must be submitted to the instructor. I like to say on the first day of class, very important. On the first day of class, very important. If you're unsure, you can definitely verify with our staff to help you determine if you're eligible for this course. But an expired nurse aid one listing, and that's within the last five years. A current nurse aid one from another state, an expired out of state listing within the last five years must be from accredited institution, proof of completion, and or uh, proof of completion of military corpsman training or completion of a RN or above training. So that's pretty much if you've already taken nurse aid within the last five years and need to pretty much renew or get yourself back on that registry or to get on the registry if you didn't after completing the nurse aid one class. For those looking to further their education, nurse aid two, again, $250, no textbook required. You want to read the syllabus prior to registering. It's 190 hours. And then again, the Castle Branch package, $116. It's going to be the same information as the Nurse Aid One. And depending on the time frame when you bought the Castle Branch package for, excuse me, Nurse Aid One, you may be able to have a lesser fee for that and they can move some of your stuff over. So we can help with that as well. And you just have to email the staff, let us know if you already have a Castle Branch package and we can assist you further with that. And uh, Tyler, this one, does it have an online component? Or is it all in person? Uh, so far, this one is all in person. Perfect. So our nurse aid one, depending on the course, it may have a online component through Moodle but you still are required to come to class for all the labs and clinical. So then we also have some nurse aid ones that are all in person. So it just depends on the instructor preference and availability for our instructors. All right, so healthcare and billing. So this is, I like to refer to this as a pathway. If you have no background in healthcare, you will need to take the medical terminology. It is a prerequisite for healthcare billing, healthcare coding, and then the CPZ exam review. If you have a healthcare background, you've already taken a medical terminology class, or you're a nurse, anything like that, you can email us, and we may say that you are eligible to go ahead and just register for the healthcare billing. Healthcare billing should be taken for healthcare coding. It has a strong foundation for billing, but also includes some information about coding. You can take an exam, and we'll talk about certification exams as well. You can take a national certification exam for healthcare billing and healthcare coding. That CPC exam is for coding. However, it does have information on the exam for billing. So it's very important that you take all the classes to set you up for success. So we'll break these down. So medical terminology is $180. The textbook is $145 or approximately. You can buy the textbooks from our bookstore or online. 
you'll just need to make sure that if it has an access code that you get that so you may have to get the newest version just make sure you look at the details for the class when you go to register because it will let you know what the textbook is and what edition you need to have also should have the ISBN number it's going to be 128 hours it's self-paced in Moodle or blended so we have a class starting in January that will be blended It'll have about three hours a week in person, and then the rest will be online. Most of our other medical terminology classes will be done online. You'll just need to meet the due dates provided by the instructor. And the, that's going to be when I say self-paced in Moodle or Blackboard, it's with the assumption that you will need to meet the weekly due dates provided by the instructor. All right, so healthcare and billing. Tuition and fees, $180. Textbooks, approximately $135. Contact hours, $120. Self-paced in Moodle. Healthcare coding, tuition, $180. Approximate supplies and fees for textbooks, going to be $100, uh, $360. There are several coding books that are required. And the reason why this is a little more pricey compared to the others is because the standards for coding change each year. So you will want to make sure you have the most current information for the current year and be in line with what you'll be tested on. Contact hours 128, also self-paced in Moodle. The CPC exam review is not required, but it is recommended for those that just need a little extra help with the exam or if they may be taking the exam and they didn't do so well and they need a refresher, you can take this class also, even if you have billing coding from another school and you can take this as that exam refresher. It's gonna be $180. The supplies and uh, textbooks, so we have 360 if you don't already have the books. If you already have the books that are required, you do not have to rebuy them. Total contact hours, 43. And this is again gonna be self-paced in Moodle. This career path, taking the, the medical terminology, healthcare billing, healthcare coding, and then if you were to add on the CPC exam review, it would take about a year to complete. So you would be eligible for two national exam certifications when you complete these classes. So within a year, you'll take the classes and then sign up for the exam. The exams are an extra cost, and we'll talk a little bit more about those here in a few. Any questions so far? Okay, we'll continue then. Fitness, so we have two fitness certifications that we offer. Both are ACE approved. And so we have the personal trainer certification and group fitness trainer certification. Both um, similar information. One focuses on personal, one focuses on the group. Hopefully in January will be the first time we're offering the group. So we're excited about that. Both classes are $125. Approximate textbook costs $60. Total hours 36, and this will be self paced in Blackboard. So, a little bit shorter of a class, still great information. And our instructor that teaches our fitness classes also teaches full time in our curriculum program, which is very nice, very knowledgeable. Clinical research. So, we have healthcare clinical research specialist and monitoring clinical trials. You will need to take healthcare clinical research specialist prior to taking monitor clinical trials. If you do have a background in clinical trials and want to take the monitoring clinical trials, simply send us an email and we'll confirm with the instructor if you're able to go ahead and take that course. So the tuition and fees for healthcare clinical research specialists is gonna be $180, textbook approximately 380, Contact hours 108, self-paced in Moodle. And this, so the monitoring clinical trials is a little less time for contact hours, 180 still for tuition, 48 
for the contact hours, approximately 140 for the textbooks, and self-paced in Moodle. So we, there's a very important thing to consider when looking at the clinical trial classes. Unlike some of our other classes that lead to a national certification, you have to meet one of the following in order to take the certified clinical research professional exam. So having two years of experience as a full time clinical research professional in the last five years, hold a degree in the clinical research from an associate undergraduate or graduate program and have completed a minimum of one year full time experience does also include some part time hours if you have that during the past two years as a clinical research professional or hold an undergraduate or graduate certificate in clinical research with a curriculum of no less than 12 credit hours or totaling a minimum of 144 credit hours from an academic institution of higher learning and hold an associate's or bachelor's degree in science, health science, pharmacy, or related field and have completed one year of full-time experience in the past two years as a clinical research specialist. So that's a very narrow scope for the requirement to take the exam. If you feel like you meet the criteria but may have a question, again, feel free to message us. I always like to confirm with our instructors because they are the subject matter experts and they are the ones teaching the class and the ones working closely with you. So we wanna make sure we get the right information from the right person. Massage therapy, so it has two parts, part one and part two. And for this class, you would need to email the program director, Nancy Harrell, and her contact information is on our website under massage therapy. This is not a class that you can simply sign up for. You would need to email Nancy that you're interested. She starts a running list and will start inviting people and running a wait list depending on how many people there are. But this pretty much is a full-time program. Runs Monday through Thursday, nine to four. The tuition and fees, uh, $201. The textbooks and supplies, approximately $700. And contact hours, 300. So this course, very in depth. And once you complete the massage therapy part one, you're eligible to take part two. But upon completing this course, you will be able to apply the basic practical massage therapy skills. So the topics that are covered, massage theory, Swedish massage, seated massage, anatomy, physiology, physiology and theology, law and ethics, and therapeutic relationship. It's also important to note that you will take on clients, so always stay professional, and you will also have to use your fellow classmates as patients as well to practice. Massage therapy part two, similar setup Monday through Thursday, nine to four, tuition $201, Approximate textbook fees 400 and the total contact hours are 325. So this gives you the further knowledge of the what happens with massage therapy, emphasizes uh, emphasis of placed on selected therapeutic approaches throughout the lifespan. And upon completing this, you'll be able to perform entry level therapeutic massage on various populations. So this goes into more topics and also helps you prepare for the, the national exam. So sports massages, hydrotherapy, kinesiology, deep tissue and trigger point massage, prenatal and infant massage, geriatric massage, Eastern body work, business practices and student clinic and MBLEX practice and review. Any questions so far? All right, I know it's a lot of information and little time, but we'll keep going. And like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat or we can answer any questions at the end. All right, so phlebotomy, this program has just moved under our department. We will offer it in January 
We already have students selected for the class and a wait list for the following class that we plan to offer in the summer. So you will also need to have a high school diploma to start the class. It is a requirement for the exam. And that's something very important. High school, I should say high school diploma or high school equivalency. So it's very important that you know what you need, not only for the class, but for the exam. So for the tuition and fees, it's going to be $228. Textbooks approximate, is going to be approximately $105. Total contact hours, 256 hours. This meets in person for lecture, lab, and clinicals. So the first eight weeks, you would have lecture and lab. And then the second eight weeks, you would have the clinicals. And they would assign you a clinical location uh, based off of where we are able to get our students in. So transportation is very important to have. And we do try to locate, uh, place students near their houses, but of course that's not always guaranteed. It is also good practice for when you get a job because you may not have a job close by to your home. Some other programs that we have, sterile processing, EKG, and MedScribe. Um, Central Sterile Processing Technician. This class is offered online, self-paced through Moodle, and meets two, two nights in person. This is probably our quickest filling class that we have. It's a very high demanding career, so we're going to try to offer it a little bit more in the spring and throughout 2023. This was important about this, even though we're offering it more frequently, the national exam is only offered every three months and it has a short window for you to sign up and take that exam. So that's something to look for how long the course will take you and when you'll be able to take that exam. The tuition is $198, approximate supplies and textbooks 230. That's for a book and the workbook. I would highly recommend purchasing this book and workbook from our bookstore because there are other central sterile processing books, but it's not the correct book for our class. Total contact hours, 112 hours. So 106 of those are going to be online and six hours will be done in person. EKG. This is going to be $200, approximate supplies and textbooks, 120. It's going to be 120 total contact hours. So it's self-paced in Moodle and in-person times vary. We typically try to offer this where they meet once a week for four hours. However, with instructor availability, it may change. So our current class that we have running, we have one that runs one weekday, so in the afternoon and evening, about two to six, I believe it is. And then we have another class that meets every other Saturday, and that's because we have in, we go by our instructor availability, and that way we're able to still get some more students in and also have great and knowledgeable instructors. And that's really for all of our programs, all of our classes. We have people that have been in the field for many, many years and very knowledgeable. Some are still working in their field. Medical Scribe, this will be a new class for us that we're offering in January. It's going to be $180. Textbooks, 80. Total contact hours, and that actually changed. I just talked to the instructor today, and I believe we said the total hours will be 173, but the tuition will remain the same, so that's the great news. And then again, also self-paced in Moodle. Some health science classes that we offer. So we have EEG review course. Um, this is for neuro, so the brain, very exciting. So the tuition, 125, no textbook needed. 108 hours, self-paced in Blackboard and meets weekly. So this helps professionals prepare for the REEGT exam. So this will be, they meet two hours every week and then have coursework also in Blackboard. So this is great for those that 
I have not taken the test before, but also great for those that have taken it before and need a little extra help. The intraoral dental radiography, the fees, the tuition is going to be $138, no textbook needed. 27 hours, they meet in person, and this is going to be offered in the summer. And typically, I believe we offered it last summer on a Friday, and it's pretty much all day Friday. That's when the dental offices are typically closed, so it's a good time for us to use the lab and get that preparation done. Intro to sonography, $180. Um, oh, I don't have the textbook amount in there. I will double check on that at the end when we have some question and answers. Um, that class is going to be $180, self-paced and Blackboard. If you're considering into going into our curriculum program for sonography, this course will be a part of the competitive entry for the sonography program. So they have a point system for competitive entry. Mammography, $180. Oh, Liz, I got to add the textbooks in there. We just started offering the mammography class and the intro to sonography to start in the spring. Uh, so $150, self-paced and Blackboard, and must be on the American Registry of Radio Radiologic Technologist, ARRT. And then we do have a math for medical assistance and healthcare professionals, $138, no textbook required, 24 hours self-paced self -paced in Blackboard and in person. So they meet for two hours a week and then also work in Blackboard. This is primarily those who are interested in the medical assisting program. Typically, the department head will refer students for the class, but it is sometimes open to the public or a few seats are open to the public. Any questions so far? All right. So credential exams, so each. Sorry. Um, I go ahead. Sure. Um, does medical billing goes into that last field right there? Or is that a whole different class? About this one? Uh, so the healthcare billing and healthcare coding classes are their own classes. So uh, part of our program for non-degree, we offer a wide variety of classes. So each one are individual, but some do have some prerequisites. OK, is, is that did you already go over that already or I can go back to it if you'd like. No, I mean, <laughs> I don't want to hold nobody up. I just I came in late, so I mean, that's I thought, OK. Yeah, I, we got a little bit of time. We'll go back up to it because I would say that's probably one of our other popular courses. So healthcare billing and coding. If you do not have a medical background, you will definitely need to take medical terminology as a prerequisite. If you've taken medical terminology previously, you're already in the healthcare field, you're a nurse, anything of that sort, you can send us an email and I'll have the contact information up again at the end of the presentation. And that will set you up to take healthcare billing, healthcare coding, and the CPC Certified Professional Code Exam Review. The billing class should be taken before coding. It has a great understanding for billing, but also gives some information about coding. Healthcare coding will have, you'll be eligible to take the CPC exam, but keep in mind, it will also have questions about billing. So it's very important that you take all the classes. And so this will take about a year to finish, um, a little bit less if you only need to take the healthcare billing and healthcare coding. So some information regarding the classes, the medical terminology, $180, textbook, $145, 128 contact hours. It is self-paced in Moodle or blended. So in January, we'll have a blended class where they meet in person for three hours and online work for the rest of the week. So instead of doing the thing, the class completely online, they are doing a mixture of in-person and online. So billing 
healthcare billing, 180, textbook, 135, contact hours, 120, self-paced in Moodle. I mentioned earlier when I say self-paced in Moodle, you're able to log on at any time to do the coursework, and that's reviewing lecture, quizzes, assignments, activities. However, you do have to meet the deadlines or due dates provided by the instructor. Healthcare coding, $180. 360 for the books, 128 contact hours, self-paced and Moodle. The reason why these are a little more pricey is because there's multiple books that are needed and the coding standards may change each year. So this reflects the current cost for the 2023 coding books or approximately. CPC exam, 180 textbook, 360 if you do not already have the books. If you already have the appropriate books, you do not need to rebuy them. Just use the books you already have. Contact hours 43 and also self-paced in Moodle. Does that answer your question? Yes, it did. Thank you so Wonderful. much. Wonderful. You're good. very welcome. All right, so we'll fast forward, go through these. Wonderful credential exams. So Almost all of our classes lead to a national credential exam. Some of them are geared towards people that already have that credential and need some extra knowledge, furthering their education in that field, which is also equally important. You always want to continue learning and being up to date with what's going on in your career field. And that's for any um, any career that you're going into. So that's my professional advice today. So for the credential exams, the costs may vary based on the exam type. So they may have a discounted rate because you took the class with us. It may be um, one price and if you have to retake it, it may be a reduced price, but each exam is different. Exam offering times may vary. Remember I said for central sterile processing technician, they offer that about every three months. And so you want to make sure that you know when that next exam is going to be. Some exams are offered more frequently and some probably depend on demand. And you'll have to look online at that national certification website to see where it's offered, if it's done online, um, some of our testing is done at our Beltline Education Center, which is nice because that's in our area. And also keep in mind that the price is not included in the cost of the course, so it is an extra fee. Some upcoming classes that we are working on, Disability Support Specialist, Mental Health Technician, Physical Therapy Aid, dialysis technician, and dental billing and coding. And what's great about the dental billing and coding, our current healthcare billing instructor teaches at ECU, and she will start working on that development because it's a need that the dental program needs, as well as in high demand for the industry. So we like to, if there is a demand in the industry or a certificate that we can put with a class after completing the class, we try to create a class that goes along with it. So another department offers this, but a great way to get an idea about what's going on. So pathways to healthcare careers. And I can, like I said, I'll send this PowerPoint out. So you'll have the QR code to go there as well. But so if you're interested in direct patient care, so that includes nurse, medical assistant, phlebotomy, EMT, paramedic, neurodiagnostic tech, sonographer, or radiography roles. So those are primarily classes that have like a clinical component. Laboratory and non-clinical, and these are gonna be like the medical billing and coding, medical lab technologist, pharmacy technician, sterile processing technician, clinical researcher, and medical transition, medical transcriptionist scribe. If I can talk today, that would be great. So what's great about these 
are these pathways align with several classes we already offer or other programs that are at Wake Tech? So if you're interested in that, you can simply scan the QR code, go to their website or contact somebody there. Um, the previous department was called HRD. It's now under Career Services. And what's great about this class is it is at no cost to you. So there's funding available to assist those interested in looking at these pathways. Financial assistance. This is probably the most exciting news that I have to share on top of our amazing classes that we offer. We do not have financial aid. If you're familiar with taking classes through curriculum or a degree program, you may have heard of financial aid. Since our classes are under workforce continuing education, they are not eligible for financial aid. However, we do have financial assistance, which is very important. A lot of people are working during the day or coming out of high school or college, and they need to further their education get that certification and enter their field. So you can visit our Workforce Continuing Education Career Pathways Program and Student Resources Department. So if you go to ceresources.waitech.edu, you can apply for some financial assistance. Also, depending on which course you're looking at, you may also apply for Propel funds. And you may have heard of that. We had a great ad campaign posted on the news on several local news sites. And so we're working to help our students have some of that financial assistance so you're not worried about the financial aspect completely. And that's waketech.edu forward slash free training. And if you're interested in the medical, we have a list of some of our medical programs that are there. And then there's also plenty of other programs you can also look at as well. So here's my information. Like I said, my name is Samantha Bray. I'm one of the coordinators for non-degree health science programs. And like I, said, I know there's a lot of information to cover in such a short amount of time. Uh, again, we're updating our CE Health, so we may have heard it as Allied Health website since we've added so many programs on this year. We want to get that up to date with the most current information. So if you're interested in nurse aid, you can visit nurse aid. The E at the end is very important. .waketech.edu or cehealth.waketech.edu. If you're interested in nurse aid, their direct line is 919-747-0120. If you're interested in the other programs that are not nurse aid, 919-747-0140. Uh, we do try to return our phone calls in a timely manner. We are a little short staff, so we are trying to work on getting our phone calls, um, our voicemails responded to. So if you've left us a voicemail, just hang tight. I promise we will get to you. And so also, if you like to email, it'll be nurse aid, again, the E at the end, at waketech.edu, and WCE medical certifications at waketech.edu myself or one of our office assistants will respond to your emails. Um, email is a little bit quicker in response because we have a little bit quicker access to it through our emails, but we do try to answer your questions the best that we can and as quickly as we can. All right, any questions? I have one. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Um, I wanted to find out about the dental billing and coding. Now, do you also have to take the um, medical terminology class, and does that last the same as um, medical billing and coding? So this is very new, and the fact that I say very new, the instructor literally just was like, hey, why don't we offer this? <laughs> so I, I don't have a clear question for it. Um, she is the subject matter expert. I would imagine we probably would have some sort of medical terminology class, you know, maybe a little bit more directed towards dental or yeah. depending on their setup, we may just be able to go straight into billing. So when I said I heavily rely on my instructors because they are the subject matter experts, I really mean I rely on them. 
Mm -hmm. um, I help coordinate the classes, get the classes posted, making sure we're offering based off of the demand for our community and so forth on. And I think this is a great idea. And like I said, if there's an idea someone has and we can offer it and there's a demand for it, I definitely want to try to offer it so that way we can get more people into the workforce and get these certifications. So that will be something we will be in, like I said, in the process of getting all the information together, what that course looks like. And once we have that up and running or somewhat an idea of the the pathway that that will look like, we will have that posted on our website and that will be the CE Health dot wake tech dot edu okay because i've taken the healthcare uh, clinical research specialist already oh fabulous uh i'm in the monitoring class now and i really wish that you know some vendors would come in and teach on etmf systems like more hands-on okay <laughs> regulatory documents sure and I've worked in there, but it's like learning the systems and uh, the Medra is in all those dictionary coding. I used to do that temporary, but learning more about it, I would like to get more hands on. Sure. Yeah. And so depending on what type of billing and coding you want to get into, um, I know I didn't realize that there may be a difference between billing and coding. Mm -hmm. uh, but I did have someone call and they used to do um, coding for one department, but they started doing coding for a separate department and it was just, it was almost like a foreign language to her. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. okay. It is. You know, that kind of makes sense now that you say it in that way. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, if there's different ways that we need to, you know, kind of manipulate what we already have or offer a little bit more, we're definitely open to that. So keep a lookout on the website and see. And then um, if you also, the things that you mentioned that you may would like to see more of, we are mm -hmm. always open to adding more content and maybe bringing some people in as like a presenter or recording a presenter and putting it into the Moodle shell. So we're always looking for ways to improve our classes and what we can do. Thank you. You're very welcome. Any other questions? Yes, hello. Um, um, I have worked as a uh, CNA for almost 18 years. And uh, so I'm saying seeing, being a CNA and a nurse, is that, is that the same thing? So CNA is a very popular term for nurse aid. Okay. So if you're looking for... Um, something a little bit more advanced. We do have some curriculum programs that mm -hmm. offer a little bit more in depth and that two year degree, the associate's degree. Uh, okay. Uh, but did y'all also, because uh, I came a little late because I was on the wrong, I was I was on somebody else's uh, uh, on the wrong um, page. Um, so the nurses A, how, how, how long is the classes for nurses A if you just want to do nursing? Sure, nurse I, will, I will go back up to that. Not a problem. Um, yeah, I was trying to write it down. I uh, moved it, so thank you. I appreciate it. That's okay. So for the nurse aid one, um, so you have the $250 for tuition and fees. There's not a textbook that's required. Um, if you need to take the class, read that syllabus before registering. It has a lot of information and can answer most of the questions. It's going to be 168 hours, so that can be um, offered throughout the day, evening, Friday, Saturday. So we have a variety of options, so the length of the class may vary, but the contact hours, regardless of which one you would take, would be 168 hours. Mm -hmm. Castle Ranch package that's going to be 116 includes background check, drug test, and immunization tracker. Mm -hmm. If you yeah. need to take our refresher course, so it's $150, contact hours 48, and you would have to meet one of the following in order to take it. So have an expired yeah. nurse aid one listing within the last five years, a current nurse aid one from another state, an expired out of state listing. And that has to be from an accredited institution within the last five years 
proof of completion of military corpsman training or completion of a RN or above training. Mm -hmm. And then if you're looking to further your education, remember mm -hmm. I said it's always important to continue to learn because you want to be up to date with the current practices in your field. So the tuition, uh, 250, no textbook. Again, read the syllabus, great information, and will likely answer most of your questions. 190 hours, um, Tyler said earlier that it's all in person, whereas the nurse aide one may have an online component or be all in person. Castle Branch package is going to be the same. It automatically starts that background check, gives you information of how to get your drug test and the immunization tracker. Well, if okay. I could jump in also, uh, just to emphasize that for the nurse aid one classes, when they say hybrid or blended, and they do have that Moodle component, um, most often you will still have to attend class in person. Yes. Um, so the Moodle online component is um, just to make the in seated lectures a little less heavy, you get to do stuff on your own and there um, are online assignments, but you do still have to attend in person. Yes, thank you, Tyler. That is very, very important. And you can only miss a small portion of hours and that also has to be made up for the nurse aid classes. So even though you do have a little bit of online work, if it's required for your section that you're in, some are all in person. Keep in mind what you need to do to be successful for the class. If you have the appropriate technology, whether that be a laptop, tablet, um, desktop, some type of computer, and then an internet connection. So that's some things that we see when you may need that. Um, if you do have an online put and especially for our other classes that are fully online, you want to make sure you have those tools to be successful with the class. OK, thank you. You're very welcome. All also, right. Sam, oh. we do have one question in the chat. I just wanted oh, to run it by you also. Yes, Demina you. asked about um, if the medical terminology class is needs a high school diploma or equivalent on the website. It says yes, but I wanted to double check that. Um, so that's a great question. Uh, it, we like to see the high school diplomas or equivalency and that we can double check, but some of our exams, the national exam requires you to have the high school diploma or equivalency. So uh, to take the medical terminology, if you email us, we can work with you. You just can't register online because we would need you to register in person since it's under age. So in theory, yes, you do need that high school diploma or equivalency, but if you're wanting to kind of get a head start or at least just maybe see if that's what you're interested in, then definitely we can work with you to get you registered for that. Oh, could I please get your um your website, please, for your um uh, for the nurses aid? Mm -hmm. You sure can. Let me get back to it. And Tyler, if you can put these in the chat, that would be phenomenal. And again, I will also email this out, but it's nurse aid e at the end, very important. Dot wake tech mm -hmm. dot edu. And if you happen to call or email as well, um, Tyler, who is assisting with our session today, she is one of our lovely office assistants and is one of the people that would potentially be responding to you. Okay. Any other questions? Yes, I have a question. Okay. Uh, first of all, when I sign, when I sign in, it didn't let me like use my account. So it opened uh, my husband's account. So when I'm talking with my husband's account right now, so I don't know how to change it. So when you registered for a class, it pulled yes. your husband's information? No, it pulled my information. So when I open like the meeting, I see his name because he's using the Microsoft team too. So oh, I, I see. That yeah. is totally OK. Um, okay. If you pre-registered for our session, we have your information there. 
So mm -hmm. we should be able to get you the information regardless. And that's OK that it has his name. Um, I know sometimes when I use my husband's information, yeah. his his pops up <laughs> that's too. That's what I make sure. <laughs> that is and perfectly fine. Uh, I register for the medical billing and coding. But I see that you guys have sonographer and it is something that I really like to do. So in the spring, we will offer the intro to sonography class. And if you're interested in doing the two year degree through curriculum, it is a competitive advantage. You get, um, I think it's one point towards your competitive advantage to entering their program. So if sonography is something that you're interested in, the intro class is a great way to learn more about it, but also uh -huh. give you that competitive advantage for competitive entry. Uh -huh. And you can also, get more information by looking at our health science page for admissions because they have some different requirements that you may have to have and a deadline for you to meet. OK, thank you so much. <sighs> You're very welcome. OK, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen real quick because I do want to show everyone one second. OK, stop sharing. OK, perfect. So let me. Open a new tab because I have 10 million tabs open open on my current one. OK, so let me share my screen one more time. All right, so any Internet browser that you'd like to use and you can go to wake tech, whoop, wake tech .edu. And so this is our main web page. If you click on the purple box, free training and non-degree programs. This will take you to our course catalog. And let's say you want to look up sterile, central sterile processing. So I look at our classes almost every day. And so that's why I already populated there. You just want to scroll down to central sterile processing technician. And currently we do not have classes available in the next few weeks. We will have our classes posted. We have a wonderful new technical assistant and she is almost done with her training, which we are very excited about. So she will start getting our sections put into our system for them to show up on our course catalog. They are first come first serve. And let's see, do I have a class that might be that might show up. Let's see, because it will show you how many seats are available. Let's see, EKG. No, no, no that one's not going to show. Um, Tyler, can you think of one that we have? Oh, nurse aid. That'll be good. So we have the refresher, nurse aid one, and nurse aid two. We'll just click on nurse aid one. This gives you the information that I've given you as well and the information for you to order that Castle Branch package and the syllabus. So here it will tell you the seats available and total seats. If you're interested in nurse aid, we're limited to 10 seats if we have one instructor and two, um, 20 seats if we have two instructors. So it's a 10 to 1 ratio. So if someone withdraws from this class, it will pop up on the website and you will be able to register if you are interested. Keep in mind their first come first serve and someone could be registering simultaneously as you. We will be working on getting some more classes posted since all of these are full. And then that's also the same for our refresher class, nurse aid two and our other classes that we offer in our program. Any questions before we leave today? No, I don't have any. Thank you for all the information. You're very welcome. And like I said, I can't iterate that there's so much information that we talk about and so many things that could um, change or we may expand on, add more courses. So keep a lookout on our website, the course catalog, if you need to reach out to us, feel free to email or phone. Either way is fine. 
Uh, we do, like I said, try to reach back as soon as we can. We are a little uh, short staff, so if you call, we may take a little bit longer to get um, the response, but we'll get to your voicemails and respond as quick as we can. Um, but always feel free to reach out. We do have excellent staff and very knowledgeable and great faculty that teach with us um, that are doing some extra work with us to help our students enter those career fields. So I'll um, hang on for a few minutes if you have any questions. If not, I hope everybody has a great night and I hope you enjoyed your sessions tonight for our virtual open house. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank Have a great you. night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Hi, Susan. You. Hi, I'm sorry I was late. <laughs> That's okay. So I'll include you when we email out um, this information. And I know Karen had a few questions about um, like phlebotomy. So hopefully we have a few more, um, a little bit more information about that since we'll start our first class in January. Okay, great. Yeah, and I was excited to see some of the new stuff you've got coming. Yes, so definitely a few more uh, pathways for the CCR students along with others interested in the healthcare field. Absolutely. So we're pretty excited. Yeah, that's really exciting. That's cool. Thank you. Well, thank you for joining us tonight. You have a great night. You too. Thank Any you. Other questions? To both of you, um, because she had the courage to say that she came in late. <laughs> I, I, my, my family member had an emergency and I was just out of place and didn't, didn't know about the time and, and everything. So I'm late, but you will send me some information. Absolutely. So I will get the info. Did you pre-register for the session? Yes. Wonderful. So we will get a copy of everyone's names and emails, and I will email out this PowerPoint that we went over. Okay. And then also what's great is um, Tyler has recorded our session, and within the next oh, few oh. weeks it will be posted. Let me see if I can grab that link um, from the other session, but it will be posted online, and you can always go back and review the video. Here we go. Perfect.